Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hello, everyone. It's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So Facebook and specifically their parent company, Meta, is facing a lot of backlash and scrutiny due to giving the Nebraska Police Department private messages from a mother and daughter. Now, Jessica, she was messaging her daughter Celeste in regards to having an illegal abortion because in Nebraska, abortion is illegal, especially if you abort a fetus that has been fertilized after 20 weeks. Okay. And so the messages basically said, and the mother was saying to the daughter, remember, we buried the body. Now let's take it back to April when this actually took place. And so the mother allegedly gave the daughter some sort of pills that would have her miscarry the baby. And once they did that, it sounds like they did bury the body. Okay. Now the Nebraska police department got wind of that. And so they went to Facebook and said, Hey, we need to subpoena the messages, private messages, I should say, between the mother and daughter and Facebook gave it to them. Now Facebook said this about the interaction between them and the police department, nothing in the valid warrants we received from local law enforcement in early June prior to the Supreme court decision mentioned abortion. The warrants concerned charges related to a criminal investigation and court documents indicated that police at the time were investigating the case of a stillborn baby who was burned and buried, not a decision to have an abortion. So they're saying we thought it was basically some sort of a murder investigation or something like that. Nothing to do with abortion, because as you guys may remember, about a month or so ago, the United States Supreme Court said that it is not up to us on the federal level to decide whether a woman can have an abortion, Roe v. Wade, the law. We are going to kick that back down to the states so they can decide. And so Nebraska is one of those states that has some form of illegal abortion laws on their books. Okay. And so of course now everybody's like, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now y'all giving over messages to, you know, uh, the law enforcement, which come on now. I think most of us already knew that, but specifically to that of the abortion law, because Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg, you know, the CEO was more or less like, you know what, that's protected with us. In fact, if our employees need to have an abortion, we'll pay for them to go out of state to do that. And so people are like kind of, you know, raising an eyebrow about the whole situation. And so my point really isn't even to tell you the story about abortion, because I know that's a very sensitive subject. My point is, is that we think that we're protected on these platforms and even in these messages where it said that it is private, even though Mark Zuckerberg said that we have gone above and beyond to make sure that people's private messages are protected. Now they're saying there's some things that you can do on your end to double encrypt your messages. Go ahead and try to figure that out, right? Uh, in order for them not to release it or subpoena it. But I don't know, I have my doubts and so I say this to y'all and I don't think I really have to say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Be careful what you say in those private messages because they're not private at all because they have the ability to go in there, read what you're saying and to send it or give it to law enforcement. And I know a lot of times we get in our inboxes and we say things that we wouldn't dare say on our public platform because we don't want to get in trouble and all of that. So if you absolutely have to say something that may get you in trouble, say it in person. Don't do it in the inbox because the inbox is really like the outbox. So y'all tell me what you think of the story. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.
JoinPCTechForum.net is a new site. It's a way we'll be discussing everything related to tech news. They'll be discussing uh, the latest processors, graphic cards, laptops, hard drives, computer cases. They also have a section for pre-built PCs and custom-built PCs, and also a PC straight from the manufacturer. They'll also be discussing the operating systems and how to troubleshoot them. And said, last but not least, they'll also be discussing the latest uh, games and business. The site is brand new, so people will join for the first time on there. So come and sign up today at PCTechForum.net.